morning, GC. It's Wednesday, March 6th. I'm Bradley Vukasevic. And I'm Carson Carrico. Let's get into today's announcements. There are a few field trips happening at the end of this week. You can find the list of those students on the Living Calendar. Tomorrow, several students will travel to Murray State University for the Tech Mania competition. Also, the GC forensic team will be competing at the state level in Northern Kentucky. They will be gone for the rest of this week. Finally, youth leadership will be out of the building on Friday. Great job on the Kentucky statewide tornado drill this morning, but there's still one more drill tomorrow. It's scheduled for Thursday at 8.15 during first block. Teachers, be sure to review your evacuation procedures with your class before that happens. We would tell you this all the time, but in case you forget, the school is required to do regular safety checks every month. End of program testing will start in about two weeks. This is for students who have earned two or more credits in a career and technical education pathway. This applies to any student, not just ones in no specific pathways. If you have two credits, you need to take this exam. For example, if you took and passed intro to media arts and video studio production, you have to take the media arts ELP even if you aren't in that pathway. That's happening in the library from Tuesday, March 19th to Friday, March 22nd. Pathway teachers will be contacting students on their rosters about their testing day and time. We'll let you know about the schedule closer to time. You heard Ms. Throgmorton on the announcements this morning, but in case you got here late, you need to stay with your SOAR team during that time. Too many of you are joining other classes or straight up wandering the halls. This is a safety issue if you are not needed and no one can figure out where you are. If you skip SCORE, that is considered skipping class in this discipline matrix, so stay where you are supposed to be. We hope you're enjoying Beach Day as part of Spirit Week. Tomorrow is anything but a backpack day. You can see the rules here. Your backpack substitute must be three by three. Be able to go up downstairs and not include any prohibited items. Friday is blue out. All of this is in support of our basketball teams competing in the regional tournament. There is a pep rally happening on Friday during SOAR. That also means clubs will meet on Thursday this week instead of Friday. Club Group 1 will meet during SOAR this Thursday. That is FCCLA, Science Club, Future Problem Solvers, Sportsman Club, FFA Executive Team, and Pep Club. Sponsors need to take attendance ASAP. Do you need to study for the ACT? Make plans to be at some of the upcoming workshops. These sessions start on Monday, March 18th. That workshop will be science with Miss Ray upstairs in Sedalia Hallway. Tuesday is a math portion with Miss Delaney. Also in Sedalia Hallway and, and Wednesday will be English and reading with Mr. McNeely in the Fancy Farm Hallway. These sessions start at 3.15 and are free for anyone interested. Prom tickets go on sale soon, so start making your plans for a big night. Tickets are $30 per person. Those tickets will go on sale on March 18th. The actual prom is on April 20th at the Commonwealth Event Center in Paducah, Kentucky. See Ms. Smith or Ms. Saltzman if you need more information. The prom permission forms are on the blue desk by the front office. Teachers and staff, be aware that there are block meetings coming up. There will be block meetings this Friday, so show up during your planning. Ms. Starmorton says star testing scores and PBIS will be discussed during that time. Be sure to sign in on the sheet when you get there. Our coverage of all the pathways GCS just offers continues today. We've shown you more about media arts and JROTC. Today, we take an inside look at the education pathway. I definitely recommend the education pathway because it teaches you a lot of aspects that like happen in the classroom. So like, um, for instance, certain placements in the classroom, you understand why those placements are there. You understand why assigned seats and things are there. I'm Ms. Roberts. I teach most of the Education Pathway classes and as freshmen you're going to want to start with early lifespan development and then the next course in the pathway is professional education and um, part of that class students are going to get to go out and visit other classes, um, other schools, have observations, have placements with teachers where they're going to be kind of hands-on. From there you're going to go into the learning um, community or EDU 180 if you have the uh, dual credit 
qualifications uh, your junior year and then your senior year you can do learning centered classroom or edu 280 and have a collaborative clinical experience this year i've got six seniors who are out in other schools assisting teachers teaching many lessons and the idea behind all of this is just getting experience before you go to college to see if you want to continue the teaching pathway what grade level you're interested in and just growing from that before you get introduced in college another thing i've learned is different things you can do with certain students, like if you have a, so a shy student in the classroom, how you can bring them into the conversation and make them feel comfortable. I've just learned a lot of things like that and I feel like it's very beneficial because I can see um, what I can do or how things happen in my classes because I take this education pathway class. I've been in the education pathway since my freshman year and I've gone through all four of the classes and I'm currently in the last one, which is an internship. And through these courses, I've learned that there's a lot more that goes into teaching than you would think being a student. And being able to observe and help in a classroom has really helped me know that I do want to teach someday. Lunch for your Wednesday is chicken nuggets. You'll also get mashed potatoes, gravy, fries, green beans, rolls, and dipping sauce. The usual options like burgers, sandwiches, and cheese sticks are there too. Now on to Lukey Pookie with our weather. Good morning, Grays County. This is Lucas with your weather. Looking through the end of the week here, we see temps staying about the same for the next three days with some rain showers moving in this weekend. Today's temps are staying in the mid to high 50s. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy skies, but temps will get in that 60 range with lows around 56. Friday is going to warm up a bit with highs in the mid 60s, but rain is expected. There is about a 70% chance of rain that also moves into Saturday. We will look more into the weekend tomorrow. That is all here from the station. Now to my boy Jay Jones with a special Just a Minute. This is Just a Minute with Jason Jones and Mr. Miller, can you please pull out the list? <laughs> yes, but this is gonna eat into our time. I want, oh, you're gonna choose, okay. I want to talk about uh, the universe and the Mandela effect. Okay, explain it. Is that th there's a TikTok trend about Mandela effects. Is that what they you're found about? Monopoly Man's monocle? It's in a weird board game uh, called Monopoly Junior, but only in the European version. Well, and, and they a, found his monocle. He has it. He's not real though. No, but he has his monocle for real. The Monopoly Man's not real. He's I know he's not real. It's created to sell the board game. But people said that Monopoly Man didn't have a monocle for the longest time, and it turns out he does have one, just in a really obscure game. But then, but if it's just in one obscure game, does that mean he truly has the monocle? Is is Monopoly Junior canon to the larger Monopoly mythos? May does it fit in the movie? But I want to talk about black holes because the the most. How does that relate to the Monopoly Man? It's about the universe and the Mandela effect, so I, I need to get onto the universe. Better hurry, we're gonna run out of time. The black hole is uh, well, it sucks up everything and it kills everyone. So, Todd. What's good, GC? It's Jay Thromwood with Sports. Tonight, pop out to Murray State at 6 o'clock. We play McCracken, winning it deep as possible, get this first round dub and move on to the second round. And then Friday night, our girls take on Callaway at Murray in the second round of the regional tournament. Pop out for that. And um, they're both practicing at Murray State right now to you know get ready for their games. But that's all for sports. Back to you guys at the desk. That's all for GCTV. I'm Bradley Vikasovic. And I'm Carson Caracal. In the